What do you get when you mix what's in these super sacks? A lot of different chemical components going into this. With water and dozens of these 44 pound bags of fine steel fibers? It's a lot of lifting. It's a lot of lifting. <laughs> well, you get this. It's a very odd concrete. It's it's not your not your grandfather's concrete, as they like to say. True, your grandpa probably wouldn't know what exactly ultra high performance concrete is. You couldn't even buy it in the U.S. until 2000, and few states use it today. But for months, MCC worked with prime contractor Lunda Construction and producer Duckdoll to prepare for Wisconsin's first ever use of UHPC on a road. Try something new. That's, that's kind of the fun part about my job is trying new things. Mixing the concrete takes more people a lot more time, about an hour per truckload versus just four minutes. Then they have to spread test it twice before getting the thumbs up. State of Wisconsin kind of tinkering around with it and seeing if it's something that they want to use in the future. And, and we were lucky enough to be a part of the flagship pour. That special pour is just a short drive from MCC's plant here at the Town Line Bridge crossing I-41 in Fond du Lac County. We definitely uh, did rehearsals for the rehearsal. We wanted to be successful. Lunda Regional Manager Brad Diener says his company sent crews to Washington, D.C. to learn about UHPC and see it actually used. It's very sticky in how it behaves, so it creates challenges for placement. No problem for Lunda's team and, ironically, their 45-year-old low-slump finisher. Last week, they poured and smoothed the material that's up to five times stronger than traditional concrete, reaches that level in just 48 hours, and could last up to 50 years. That's getting the attention of FHWA, WSDOT's Bureau of Structures, even UW-Madison PhD candidates wanting to watch. You know, this is a technology that's likely going to provide a lot of value long term to, to the state of Wisconsin. So of course you need to find a way to remember this inaugural pour. Back at the plant, Diener has been making super strong Wisconsin shaped plaques out of leftover UHPC. I think I'm going to give, give them to my daughters so they can have them for uh, after I'm long gone, but if I have any left. <laughs> A special keepsake to commemorate a time when you mixed an exciting new product with backing from WSDOT and the know-how of several WTBA members, producing a very strong formula for success. Inherently, there's nerves in any concrete pour you do, but it's, it's kind of the, the territory with the job. Is That's why I like it, because it is a challenge. I think, I think if we do everything right, it's going to perform very well. We're using emerging technology with the WTBA, building a better tomorrow today.